Hello, good morning, Daniela, Jamilka. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Thursday. Hope everything is going well for you guys. So we finish up the semester. Good morning, Mariana. Good morning. <laughs> Today, guys, what I'd like to do, I want to get right to it, and so we can uh, take advantage of the entire class. Uh, good morning, Janet. Welcome. Um, today, I'm going to share my screen. We've been working in our wikis uh, uh, about our, our progress paragraph. We started off working in a, a matrix at the beginning of this task in order to see what each of us, what topics each of us were developing. The rest of the week, we've been working in the wiki. At this point, all of us should have our paragraph, at least our first our first draft of our paragraph completed. All right, so we should also include citations. You should have at least two citations, and you should have at least one reference. So today, what I'd like to do is I want to bring together all of your paragraphs into one document. All right, I'm going to share my screen and we're going to go into Microsoft Teams under files and under general, we're going to select week 16. I know we're technically into week 17, but we're going to use week 16 and we have a new shared word online document called progress paragraphs. This is where we're going to work today. So the first thing I would like for you to do is to copy and paste your paragraph from your personal wiki, your individual wiki in the virtual classroom. Copy and paste that over to this document. As we've done in the past, as we've done in the past, I would like for you to include your name as a level two heading. I'm going to select this, go to styles, heading two. And then below your name, include your uh, your paragraph with your citations. Now, I'm going to also, at the very bottom of the document, and I'm going to do a page break, I'm going to have a level one heading called references. So this is where you're going to include your references. All of your references from both propes are all going to be listed alphabetically under this section called references. All right, so this is going to go underneath references and bring in your references underneath here. So we'll have all of our paragraphs up here. And then at the very bottom, we'll have a separate page for all of our references. Again, alphabetized alphabetically. A comes before B, comes before C. All right, as we are bringing our Paragraphs together. I'm going to continue looking at the document here, giving some group feedback, looking at different um, different uh, texts, and and leaving some comments. But that probably will apply to most of us. All right. So today we're going to review our paragraphs, make final changes, so that tomorrow we'll be prepared to read our paragraph during our final live session. This is what we're going to do tomorrow: is read our paragraphs aloud in the live session. And today we want to bring together one document with all of our paragraphs related to progress. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic. You guys jump in if you have questions about, about uh, what we're doing. And I'll jump in today from time to time to give some group feedback on your text. Okay, any questions, guys, about what we're doing? No. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic again. Just jump in if you have uh, doubts uh, about uh, about what we're doing today. All right, guys, take a look at your references and I'm going to share my screen here as well if you either want to look 
on your own device or if you want to look at my screen, whichever is easiest. Uh, let me go back here. Take a look at your references. Now I'm going to make a couple of observations. Uh, take a look at your own examples and check for the following. Number one, make sure that you have a period after the date in parentheses. Notice here we have a period for Chamberlain. So we need a period after the date, after the parentheses. Some of you have the period, some of you do not. Double check your own examples, your own references. If you're missing a period after the, after the uh, parentheses, then you need to add a period. Also, take a look at your titles. Most, in most cases, it's going to be the title of the web page or the article. Only the first word is capitalized. All right, so if you're looking at my screen, here's an example. This is correct. Only the first word is capitalized. But notice that after the colon, this is called a subtitle. Anytime you have a subtitle after a colon, you also need to capitalize the first word. So we, we only capitalize the first word of the, the main title, and we also, if there is a subtitle with a colon, we also include a capital letter only for the first word. The rest of it's in lowercase. All right, so double check your examples. Right, the civil rights movement, civil rights movement, all lowercase. Even if it's capitalized in the title, even if it's capitalized on the web page, only the first word is capitalized. 32 surprising mental health statistics. So surprising mental health statistics, all lowercase. Now, in this case, Wisner, I think we need to italicize the talk space voice, not the title of the, the page. Okay, so we'll italicize that. Make sure, double check what text you're, you're italicizing. For example, the Washington Post, Freedom and Slavery, the Central Paradox of American History. What's capitalized in this case? The Washington Post. Take a look at the example that we uploaded. In fact, we had an example of the Washington Post, and that is italicized. Okay, so double check which text is italicized. You know that if you have an example, if you have a reference with nothing italicized, you're missing something. You need to go back and check which text, which part of the reference do I need to italicize. Okay, the Slavery uh, Abolition Act. Okay. Uh, first of all, we, we should not include any references that are encyclopedias. So no references as encyclopedias or dictionaries. Okay. But make sure that you have some text that's italicized. This information from, for example, Wikipedia, sometimes you can find some good information at the very bottom of a wiki page that will take you to an article or website. That's fine but don't use Wikipedia or any type of encyclopedia or dictionary whenever you're referencing. This is a pretty good rule of thumb for any class that you take is to avoid encyclopedias and avoid dictionaries. Notice here, uh, Buriel, historical, social, cultural, and con conceptual issues to consider. Only capitalize the first word. Notice there's nothing capitalized here, so there's something missing here in in this reference, okay? Because we know that we need to italicize something here. So in this case, this is a journal, okay? So here, we're going to find all the information we need right here. All right, this is the information. We've got the volume number, the number. Now take that into consideration. Let's go to our presentation. And it looks like there's a DOI as well. Okay, so here I'll show you the example, if this is your example. If you have a journal with a DOI, then this is going to be, let me open up a publication manual. All of you have access to this presentation. Go to chapter 10.
And this is going to be your example here to follow. Now this link, this link here needs to go right after the period up here, not as it shows here, but notice here we've got the name of the journal and then the volume number, all in italicized text. It's in italics. This is what's called the issue number in parentheses, this number two. All right, so in this case, here we have volume number 21, number three. That's the issue number. So you'll have 21 here, and then three here, comma, and then the page numbers. Exactly how it appears here is how you need to have it. Notice only the first word is capitalized in the title of the article. Notice there's a period after the parentheses that has the date. Again, this link, this HTTPS, this is going to be this link right here, HTTP. Just copy and paste this link as I've selected here and put it right after the period up here. Don't, don't create a separate line. Create it right, right after the period. All right, so this would be how you would do this, this example right here, Buriel. Okay, so whoever is this, this is, they take, a, take that into consideration. And if you, any of you have a journal like, like this, and you can tell a journal, it's really easy because you have here all the information. This is the journal, psychological intervention, the volume number, the issue number, almost all journals our articles have a volume number along with the page number. All right, so all of you take a look at at your references for the for what we're talking about here. What do you italicize? What do you capitalize? Check for punctuation. This is what's difficult about APA is getting all these details. And your best bet is to look at an example and base your reference on the example. Again, taking close consideration into the punctuation, the capitalization, the spacing, and so on. Any questions, guys, about APA or referencing is we, what we're looking at here today? Okay, if you have Chamberlain, take a look at Chamberlain. That needs to be changed. Hartman needs to be changed. If you have a question mark, don't include a question mark and a period. Okay, remember that a question mark is an ending punctuation. It ends the, the, the question in this case. So you don't need a question mark and a period. It's either or, either a period or a question mark. Okay, here in Kimber, habla espanol, working with Spanish-speaking victim survivors. Uh, check this. You, you need to italicize something. I think there's something missing here in this example. Okay, this is at Purdue University, so you might include Purdue University after the title. Double check your fonts, okay? Uh, this is the font we're using, Calibri 11. All right, so all of you should be using Calibri 11. Sometimes when you copy and paste over from another document, the font will change. So make sure, like this one here, this is Arial Ortiz, whoever has Ortiz. Go back and select just the text, not the hypertext, but the, the well, yeah, I guess you could type, select all of it. Make sure you're using Calibri 11. Stokes, whoever has Stokes, double check that. It looks like your font's too small and you have Arial. So we need to be consistent with the font, so double check that. All right, guys, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and stop there for today. I'll take a look today at your paragraphs. Uh, this afternoon, maybe take another look at it. We'll have a few minutes on Friday, tomorrow, uh, to make some last-minute changes. And then we'll, uh, we'll spend the rest of tomorrow's live session reading aloud the paragraphs. 
I'll indicate the order in which we'll read the paragraph, but practice. Practice reading aloud your paragraph before tomorrow so that you're comfortable with how it sounds. Okay, any questions, guys, about what we're doing today in today's task? No. All right, so if uh, there are no more questions, we'll go ahead and stop there, guys. Uh, we'll uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and tomorrow we'll have our last class. And uh, again, we'll focus on reading our poems, our poems, our paragraphs aloud. All right, thanks, guys. Talk to you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.